As you guys can see, Mother Nature kind of had different plans for us this week. Yeah. <laughs> we were all hyped up, ready to work on the coop. Yeah, hopefully get it done this week. That was the plan. That was the plan. But a nice big ice storm had to come back through and make the, make yeah. this ground solid, huh? Yeah, well, I was gonna say it's gonna keep coming through. This isn't it isn't over yet. <laughs> no, it's not. So we wanted to get the, the coop finished framed and the ceiling on it or the roof on it and everything. We have all the materials to do it, mm -hmm. but we knew there was a storm coming. I just didn't realize it was going to be this bad of an ice storm. Yeah, I thought it was just going to be rain for and a it, day. Yeah, and it's been going, this is day two so far. Yeah, and it's coming down right now. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's coming down. Yeah. <sighs> So we don't really get to work outside. Yeah. But uh, we want to get this stuff done. Yeah. We got spring coming. Yeah. <laughs> Spring's coming and I want to get working on the house. Yeah, get back on the house. <laughs> I know it seems counter counterintuitive sometimes to be working on other projects rather than the house. <laughs> but it's all part of our house. Yeah. Different projects here at certain times. Yep. It's coming down. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> the dogs seem to love it. Yeah. So the plans for the, the coop guys, um, we didn't really explain it too too much what we're gonna do. But it's gonna be a lean-to style with what was the size of the door? Like a five foot door in the front. Yeah. Probably how tall the front is. Yeah. And it's gonna have two ventilation windows on the front mm -hmm. um, and one on the side, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yep. And then we're going to have about four nesting boxes in the back and two roosting bars inside of it. Yeah. And from all the different research that I've done, Roxanne has done, and people we talk to, it's, I think it's going to come out pretty nice. Yeah, I'm excited for it. Walking up this hill. Yeah, yeah this is scary. It's kind of scary. Try to stay in the rock. Because this is literally straight ice, guys. I don't want to do another, oh look, it was icy and snowy video. Oh. We're already over it. Huh? Did you hear that? I heard it. Oh, yeah. See, it's even thundering outside. It is. It's weird. Good thing we got that generator back up on the house, huh, guys? Okay. <laughs> that transfer switch is ready to go in case the power goes out. The new tarp's holding up pretty good. We, uh, we've been out here uh, dusting it off throughout the day. So it's still standing. It hasn't ripped yet. No. Oh. You guys hear this noise? Yeah, that's ice, man. But like Roxanne said, the brand new tarp is holding up. But we do have to come out here, like you said, and brush it off. Yeah, keep the weight off of it so it doesn't rip. Yeah. So, it's obviously been really chilly. I don't know if this ice storm was as worse as the last one that came through. I don't, I don't think it's as bad. Yeah, I don't think it's as bad either. But, we have Thunderdome, which has been a huge lifesaver through both ice storms, I will say. 
nice yes, little yeah nice. yesterday we didn't do anything yeah we just sat in the thunderdome and played video games and binge watched our shows you know there's not a lot we can do yeah I mean, I got the pole barn to do some stuff, but I can't, like, install anything, like, build the chicken coop because there's ice everywhere. Yeah, and, uh, inside the shed or the house, it's really cold in there because there is no heat, no insulation, no drywall, so it's really cold in there. <laughs> but Thunderdome, mm -mm, that's a different story. The pole barn has been saving everything from getting wet, which has been nice. And listen to this ice, guys. It's craziness. I mean, the chairs are frozen solid. Crazy. It's nuts. It is. The coop. <laughs> Looks like a stage right now. Just a little backdrop so we can get on stage and karaoke or something. Oh. You know, I was thinking we could have made this is four feet. We could have made this three feet. <laughs> made it a little bit smaller, but <laughs> Yeah, for the lean to, right? Yeah, but I think it's still good at four feet. No, I think this will be fine. And then the front of it's only gonna be like four and a half feet. Yeah, four and a half. Yeah, it's not even gonna be that tall. Maybe five at the most. I mean that's for four feet of a, a foot drop. I mean, maybe, yeah, we'll see. But I was really bummed out that we couldn't get this done already. This was supposed to be done today. It was supposed to be done today. Yeah, like that was our plan, was to have to leave the chicken coop and then come back next week and do the fencing. Yeah, finish the fencing. Uh-huh, and then... And then next week, well, also next week, we were to start the garden. Yeah working on the garden layout and everything because once those two things are done guys right the garden stuff's in this is somewhat ready to go i gotta make sure it's a hundred percent the best i can predator proof mm -hmm. before one single bird gets put in here yeah okay so i'm gonna try my best on everything i've been learning but once those two things are done we can actually get back on the house mm -hmm. and start working on that start insulating some of the walls that don't need to be plumbed mm -hmm. water plumbing yeah um, drywall in some of the rooms maybe different things mm -hmm. and we do have a plan we do have to order a lot of supplies though Ooh. you guys hear that yeah, it's starting to pick up again it's coming <laughs> it's threatening <laughs> but roxanne has a good plan for her garden which we mentioned before and her plan i don't think it should take us uh too too long to build honestly for real on that one we don't even really have to cut that many things. No, no. And to get that done. It's pretty basic. And like you said, we have a plan, which is like half the battle, so. Yep. Or more. Uh, is your baby toy frozen solid? Is it frozen solid? It's an icicle. What are you going to do about it? Go find another one? What are you going to do? So... Now that I know these ice storms come out here like this from the the winter time, right? I wasn't sure until we ran through the winter here, guys. But for some of you that have chicken coops already, and I have done some research, but I'm curious about what you guys think. So let me know in the comments, okay? So during the winter, how would you keep these chicken coops pretty warm? Yeah, like on should, day, yeah, on days like this. On days like this. Yeah. Um, should I insulate the walls? Is that a good idea or not a good idea? I'm asking you guys. I know that I should probably put a heat lamp or a heat plate, different things like that. What have you guys found out that kind of works the best for a wintry climate with snow and ice for the birds? Because the last thing I want is any of them to freeze to death. Like that would be horrible. Mm -hmm. So let me know in the comments, guys. Let us know what you guys think and what has worked for you guys. And uh, I can look through that. I appreciate that. Thank you guys. The kids have been off of school the past two days. Mm -hmm. The school's <laughs> called and said, oh, no school, no school. Yeah, and I'm almost positive, Dave, that they're gonna be calling again today. Oh, I'm sure, yes. The weather is not letting up in any way, so. No, you can't even, you can't even get off the road. No, I think it's supposed to rain again on Saturday. So I don't know if it's gonna be another ice storm. 
I mean, it's hard to say what's going to happen this weekend leading into next week because I can't sit in the house or just Thunderdome for no, the next I'm, four days. I'm going crazy eight. already a little bit. Yeah, and it's only been a day. It's only <laughs> been a day. And I, we got a lot of work to do to get done around here Yeah. by the end of next month. Mm -hmm. And I can work in the rain, not like pouring down, can't even see rain. But if it's raining a little bit, eh, I could work in the rain. Yeah, yeah. I've just, done it my whole life. Yeah. I can't work in the ice. No, not the ice or the snow or thunder. Or thunder, exactly. <laughs> you guys know that we have the main water lines put in. And so I did this like last week. Um, yeah, pretty much a couple days after they were put in. Yeah. So what I've done, <laughs> I built a makeshift well house. This is the spigot that's sticking up. And I'm not gonna lift it up, but inside of there, I wrapped the spigot with um, pipe insulation and actual housing insulation. And it's completely wrapped around right now. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't freeze yeah, inside, the... inside this like trash can. So I wrapped it all up, put the trash can over it and it's been doing good. It hasn't froze or nothing. Mm -mm. I've checked it. Yeah. And for the main coming to the house, I pretty much did the same thing. Um, see that tote right there? I wrapped the pipe coming up and then filled this whole thing inside with insulation and wrapped everything and then put some bricks on it so it can't come up. And that's been working pretty good. The water froze um, pretty much like this last week one night and I ran out here the next day and checked and it was completely fine. Yep. Not frozen at all. Nope. So yep, you keep an eyeball and then obviously when it defrosts out here after the ice melts, we'll check it and make sure everything's okay. I yeah. don't like you said, I don't want to lift that right now. No, I'm sure it, I'm sure it's I'm fine. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah. Another thing with these garden spigots, right? Um the freeze the the freeze free like hydrants and stuff. I knew about those before, but I have a different thing I'm gonna use for this. Um, it's basically like an automatic dripper if it gets too cold because during the winter we're not going to be using this No, it's going to be insulated and I'm probably going to build a little house around it a permanent one So we're basically just a spigot sticking out. Yeah, and then wrap it. And... Yeah, like a wooden you know what I'm saying, yeah, right? Yeah. So that's what I plan on doing but they do make um, Like I said these little I have the name of them, but basically you can put them on any faucet that's not like a a freeze-free hydrant faucet, right? And what it does, it's got some special, it's got a spring in it and it's got some special freeze wax built into it. And when the water temperature, you keep the faucet on when you put this on, when the, when the water temperature gets to a certain degree, it starts dripping the faucet automatically really slowly so it doesn't freeze inside the pipe. Because those hydrants are really expensive and I didn't have time to get one. I might put one on years down the road but we've already planned on not using this during the winter anyway. Well, yeah, because of the garden. Because um, the garden. I mean, we will have a greenhouse. But we're going to have another spigot coming over there. Yeah, I'm not sure how that will work, but... It's hard to pre-plan every little tiny thing, guys, because a lot of it, you do something and then you forget. You're like, oh man, I should have done that. Yeah. And now it's too late. Well, that and then plans change so much, you know. One day it's this way and then you learn something like the weather. Yeah. And then it changes, you know. So you just got to roll with the punches, yeah. guys. That's all you can do. Wow. Let me help you up. <laughs> uh, another thing that you guys know, our makeshift kitchen. How's that been working out for yeah, you? It's been working out pretty good. Um, <laughs> other than it being really cold, as you can see, it's your breath in here. Yeah. But uh, I've been in here cooking pretty much every night, making dinner and working out nice. With a real stove. Yeah, it's been really nice. <laughs> we uh... <laughs> haven't had a real stove on this property in nine months. Yeah, it's been nice. <laughs> like yesterday we had pizza, frozen pizza. Well, it was cooked. And not, and not the tiny ones. Yeah, it was cooked perfect. It wasn't burnt on one side and not cooked on the other. And... <laughs> so that's working out good guys for now. Mm -hmm. Once we start working on the house in here, we're going to, I think we're going to work on the rooms and the bathrooms first with what we can without the water plumbing done. Mm -hmm. That's coming soon too. We just got to get other things done first. 
with that, I want to wait till there's no more freeze. Yeah, me too. And so. Because that would, well, I guess if you were running the water lines inside the house and you just didn't have the water going through them, it probably wouldn't, it would be okay. But you can't test the water. Yeah, I want to be able to you put know? a line in and test it. Yeah, and I don't, I would hate to do all that work and then it freeze. Yeah. Um, I know that you said you want to do PEX, which it won't break. But, but still. Yeah, I just. So we're going to, yeah, we're going to wait till the freeze is done for the, the actual water plumbing. Um. And then we can just start getting everything going inside here. Again. I mean, we can start beforehand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, I mean, there's there's still steps to be done before we can actually like do the plumbing and, and do the septic and all that stuff. We still have other things we have to finish first, so. <laughs> but what we can do, like, and we've talked about this, like this whole back wall, all this, that can be insulated and drywalled for the areas we're doing drywall. Uh -huh. Basically, Wyatt's whole room can be insulated and drywalled. Our whole room can be insulated and drywalled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The bathrooms on like this wall, like on this portion can be insulated and right here, start getting the shower stuff put in. There are things we can do and we're gonna be start working on them really soon. Just wanted to get that garden stuff done first. Well, yeah, <laughs> well, like you before said, spring happens. Yeah, because I want to be able to. <laughs> I, I, we've mentioned this, but I want to be able to like just not worry about. Oh man, it's almost growing season, and I don't have nothing built on my garden. That way, I just know everything's done. I can go out there, get what I need to get done, and it'd be good. All right. Well, <sighs> back in the ice, as you guys know. Yeah. Well, it's actually snowing right now. So we're gonna go warm up guys we just want to let you guys know what's going down over here yeah, on no the 41.36 yeah no work for us this no work week. hopefully by next week it's supposed to warm up um i think tomorrow it starts it's supposed to start warming up we can get back at it next week we need to get this stuff done yeah, we got so much to do in so little time it seems like it, <laughs> it does it seems like we've been more busy here than back at home in Vegas. Yeah, yeah. Which we actually technically are. Yeah, so. I would agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> so on that note, guys, we will catch you guys all in the next one. Bye. Bye.